Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new here, welcome, my name is Leonie. I am currently pregnant with baby number two, which is another little girl. So if you've clicked on this video, I'm guessing you're in your first trimester, maybe you're in very early stages of pregnancy or you're right smack bam in the middle of your first trimester and you are looking for some tips, uh, your essentials to get you through, to really help you get through those first few months of pregnancy. Now it is hard, it is tough, it is tough going, but you're gonna make it mama. It will end, you will get into that second trimester and hopefully things will settle down and you'll start enjoying your pregnancy. So I'm currently 21 weeks pregnant now, so I'm fully out of the first trimester pretty much completely over those symptoms of tiredness and feeling sick and nauseous so hallelujah good days you will get there but as this is my second pregnancy these things i'm going to show you are very tried and tested there are a couple of things that i've tried this time around that i didn't try in my first trimester but the majority of stuff worked really well for me for both my pregnancies get me through just really helping so hopefully they will help you too so in your first trimester one of the biggest symptoms and things you have to deal with is sickness and nausea and it can be rife so i'm going to give you a few tips and a few products that have really helped helps me with sickness. So the first one is quite a commonly known remedy to help with sickness and nausea and that is ginger. Now I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, some people really hate the taste of it, but I do feel like if you can stomach it, go for some ginger. I found it really helped me and a couple of products that I absolutely love. First of all, it's this Rochester ginger wine. This is in intensely ginger like it's burned the back of your throat ginger but i feel like i just do like a shot of it and i really feel like it knocks the sickness out of me so you don't have to repeatedly drink this but every time i'm feeling a bit i just used to shot a couple of shots of this and it like it knocks the sickness right out of you it doesn't last for a very long time like the sickness will come back but it's quite good just to like get you on a good level when it comes to sickness. So I recommend getting some ginger, I, I call it ginger wine, it's ginger non-alcoholic drink basically. But yeah, ginger wine. And then following on with ginger is these gingins. I really like these, so I've got the hard boiled candy versions which are quite good, you can suck. And also I have the chewable, quite hard candy chewable ones. And they're quite good if you, you really, your stomach's really upset of like you're feeling really sick and it kind of releases a juiciness of the ginger. I found these really good when I was traveling on the train and I felt nauseous and I could just chew a few of these. Easy to put in your handbag. If you're trying to be inconspicuous, then having a few boiled whole hard sweets in your bag to chew on during the day. No one's really gonna expect anything, are they? They're just gonna think you've got some sweets. So I really recommend that these gingers have ginger sweeties. So the next one is nausea bands. I really rate these. I use them in both my pregnancies. They work as acupressure points and so they've got these little bubbles in them and they press it on a point in there. Just helps relieve nausea and sickness. Now I know especially in the UK, it's quite common to hide your pregnancy until you get to the 12 week mark, 12 week scan. So if you're in summer and you're in your first trimester, it may be a bit harder to hide these, but luckily because it was the cooler months when I was going through it, I could wear long t-shirts and jumpers and kind of hide them. But I do really rate them. I was a bit skeptical about using them at first when I got them with Isla, but I really, really found their help. They're quite cheap, like I got a pack of two of these for I think they're about five or I'll link everything down below but they're well worth it if you're just trying to find something that works for you just invest in a couple of these and see if they do so the next one is something I stumbled across in this second pregnancy I didn't do this in my first and that is to use essential oils now I know some of you are going to be rolling your eyes and be like essential oils they're not magic potions they they're not fix the world but I generally use essential oils in my diffuser just to make my room smell nice. I really like like the scents to help me sleep. I find that really good. And with my pregnancy with Isla, I was using this brand called Babyopathy. And they're essential oils that are targeted 
to all different like you've got the first trimester second trimester you've got ones for birth labor things like that i really like the brands and i love the smells and i had just basically previously used them in my diffuser just to make my room smell nice and relax and when i was doing my hypnobirthing and things like that but this time around i don't know why i had it out and I think Isla got hold of it. And it was a day I was feeling really sick. And she opened it up. And I was just getting it off her. And then I could smell the smell of it. And I was like, oh my God, that's making me feel nice. I was like, I don't feel sick when I'm smelling this. It was like really bizarre. So I would just be putting this on a tissue now. You can get like inhalers. Because I was, when I was in labour, I was actually smelling smelling my essential oils for labor but i never really used it for sickness and this scent especially this one's the first trimester and it, oh my god it must be targeted to sickness this is lavender frankincense and mandarin and just smelling it just smelling it instantly made me feel better and i guess you know everything is linked like certain smells can make you feel sick so why could certain smells make you feel better if that makes sense but yeah i it was random i didn't even think to ever use that to help with sickness until i just randomly came across it so i do think it's worth it if if you're someone that's open to giving that a try I, I will link this certain one down below maybe just go and smell some essential oils and see if one ticks for you i think it's got to be quite an overpowering one and as i said lavender frankincense and mandarin it's quite a strong smell but it really really did help me when i was feeling pretty sick and i've just realized i'm pretty sure most of my products are to help with sickness and i think the main things you do have in your first trimester is sickness and nausea and being super super tired now this next product is super super important and that is your pregnancy vitamins you need to get them in you need to make sure your baby's getting your folic acid you're feeling good and you're getting your nutrients as well but for many mums I've spoken to, and especially for me, some of the certain brands of pregnancy tablets are quite big and they can be really hard to stomach in the first trimester, especially when you're feeling sick and you can't stomach a lot and then you've got to put, like take one of those really big tablets, they can make you feel even worse. Now, I never had this in my pregnancy with Isla, this is one I've been using this time around, but I've actually come across a pregnancy vitamin spray and it is a game changer you do four squirts of this a day and it has all your vitamins in there and i just find it so much easier to take my vitamins than i do taking tablets now this brand i've used is called better you i've used this brand quite a lot in terms of like their vitamin d's their vitamin c sprays because i just find it's so beneficial just to squirt your vitamins in your mouth rather than take a load of tablets so if you're someone that's out there and they're already suffering from taking tablets or you know and they're making you feel sick invest in some pregnancy vitamin spray it is such a game changer so next i'm going to give you some tips rather than actual products to use and it's around food and drinks so it's easy for me to say what food worked for me but it's no hard or fast rule you've kind of got to find what's going to work for you in terms of food but i would say that a try fizzy water now it's so important you, know, you stay hydrated throughout your pregnancy and um, but i found drinking water this general water made me feel uh, i was sick a lot with isla so this time around i knew that water was going to be a trigger for me so i found drinking fizzy water a lot easier to keep down and i use like the tesco's brand flavored ones they basically got no calories and no sugar or anything like that in them i'm pretty sure most of them probably are the same but they you know i'm getting a bit of water in and it's just a bit easier for me to drink and then food as well i'm someone that well not being pregnant i don't have breakfast generally i will do intermittent fast until 12 o'clock i can get through it absolutely fine in pregnancy especially in the first trimester that, that is not the case and i found if I don't eat straight away when I get up, I start feeling really sick. So I don't know. It Obviously, your dietary requirements will play a big factor into this. What you can and cannot eat, what you, what you choose to eat or not. But things like crumpets, bread in the morning straight away, 
biscuits, especially like something like ginger biscuits or a double whammy there. It's going to be your carby plain foods basically that are going to be a bit of a lifesaver for you. But I would say as soon as you wake up, eat something because five, ten minutes after you wake up, you're going to start feeling sick if you haven't eaten. So that is just one of my tips is just as soon as you wake up, eat something. The next thing I recommend you do in your first trimester is download some pregnancy apps. Now, there's quite a few out there. My favourites are the Pregnancy Plus app because you get to see this little baby and it's quite a vivid little baby, but you get to see that grow and grow and grow as your weeks go along, it gives you this information. So I like to look at that one. And then also the Ovia Pregnancy app. Now I use this one more as a diary because I had the Ovia normal fertility app to track my periods. And then once you're pregnant, it then says I'll download the pregnancy app. And yeah, I just use this as a calendar just to keep track of all my appointments and dates and then on the calendar it kind of gives me a a each week when I'm going to be like 20 weeks 21 weeks so I kind of keep myself organized especially with work and appointments and things like that so I really recommend those two but there's quite a few out there um other ones worth mentioning are the Emma's Diary where you can get the free Emma's Diary packs the Bounty app Pina if you're someone that's going to be a first time mum hasn't got any mum friends like or friends that haven't got any babies really and um, it's good it's like tinder for mums you can find mums in your area expecting at the same time so they're all quite good apps i would recommend um there's the Ocado app which if you go to window to the womb for any scans you can download that one as well so quite a few out there so the next product is a product that i wouldn't say is an essential but it's definitely something i would tell new mums just to start using in your first trimester as soon as you find out you're pregnant or even if you're conceiving um, and that is to start with your your creams or your oils for your stretch marks now my overall advice would be don't worry about the stretch marks too much it's out of your control be kind to yourself you're growing a human being and it, you know a lot of genetics plays into it as well there's some people that are genetically blessed and won't get stretch marks there's some people that you could use you could bathe in this every day and you would still get stretch marks so you know at the end of the day your priority is being well within yourself and cooking that baby well anything on the outside is this you know it's, I just want to say materialistic. I know obviously your body image can be a big effect on your mental health, but just be kind to yourself. And yeah, if you're worried, start using them straight away, get that oil going, depending on what you like. There's oils, creams, there's loads of different brands you can use. I'm using the uh, My Expert Medwife Fantastic Skin Alexa at the moment. And I actually, again, because it smells that kind of essential oily. I just absolutely love it. I'm so into my smells. And oils were just really nice to rub in as well. So yeah, they are my holy grail products for the first trimester. As soon as I found out, I was out getting my ginger wine and getting ready. Like I just knew they were going to work for me. And also just I found some new things this time. So it's always a bit of a learning journey. Every pregnancy is different. So you kind of go off the basis and see what works for you. And I just wanted to say that it feels like it is the longest time ever, but it does get better mamas and just be kind to yourself. And I know it's easier said than done, especially if you're on your second, third pregnancy, you've already got kids, but try and rest as much as possible. Don't feel guilty about having a nap if you can take one. Ask for help if you need it because it is a struggle. It really is hard. And I didn't know how I was gonna get through it some days, but I did and now I'm in second trimester and things are just looking up now. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it really useful. Please give it a like if you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I'll be doing a lot more pregnancy content and sharing my journey with you guys. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.